auditioned people for that movie, they weren't looking for actors. They were looking for normal people, like kids. Me and my brother, we were gonna be Telly and Casper. Larry Clark, he took pictures of me, like from 14 to 18. Tell us, check it. Publicly preposterous, that makes me prosperous. Hip hop puts a stop to gossipness, no one is topping this. He loved us, man, we were, we were skating. We, we fit the script, you know what I mean? We brought the script home. My mom, she read it and just completely flipped out. That was so much fun when we were kids. Let me do it one more time, really big. It's 20 years ago. I was a different person than I am now. Smoked a lot of weed and drank beers and we were underage, you know, but we still got away with it. We watching Quimp Time. All the people I skated with back in the day, they either like got alive or they got jobs. They just quit skating, you know? I stuck with it, never gave up. When I skate, I like to feel my tricks of when I hit the obstacle and I'm in the air. Feel. So you could be a robot, you could, you could be programmed to do every single trick in the book, but with no feeling, there's no skateboarding. Just letting go. You don't know about nothing. Oh, I'm so sorry. I think the pursuit of skating is the most fun part of skating. Meet me at World Trade, and then we're gonna skate up to Midtown. That's like the rest stop, like where, where we, we're gonna sit down and relax and have water and chill. But from the World Trade Center all the way up to the rest stop, that's when you experience skating. There's no plans, there's no, you don't know what to expect, you know what I mean? I'm a set decorator for, for movies, and I work with an art department. You can go skate the manual pads on 20th Street. All right. I also um, working on a video part and a music album with Teddy Powell. It was just yesterday we were walking out in the LES. We were talking how they flew me out to the Ritz Carlton, waking up to a country that was starving. I gotta change that around. Just kids. Put me up in the Ritz Carlton. Just kids making out with Rosario Dawson's. Chloe's and all those good looking cute girls. I, I remember auditioning for the movie Kids and all I had to do was make out with this girl that was twice my age. What's her name? It was a white girl that Telly made out with. Man, I look up to all of them because they, they take, they've, they've launched their career and their life to another level. Larry Clark, he showed up at the banks during a contest one year. I didn't know about his history or past or who he was. Nobody really knew who he was until he started that movie, Kids. You know, it was like a thick book. It was like a big script. And my mom, she read it and just completely flipped out. My mom grew up in New York City and she battled a lot of drugs and violence, and she saw a lot go on in her time, you know what I'm saying? She didn't want us to become that product, because we were 16. She was like, nah, this ain't, this ain't for you. This ain't for kids. What you got, what you got? First try. Yeah, I was supposed to be Telly, but you know what? Telly was supposed to be me, and yo, Yo, he tried to be like me, but he didn't talk like me. No way. Nah, I'm just playing. He did an awesome job. Hi. It wasn't our dream to be an actor. Everybody just had like hard times, like Harold and Justin, those guys. They they lived a hard life, you know what I'm saying? Like, and and they lived a better life after kids. They maybe they signed for themselves and said their parents signed, you know? Hi. Watch this rail. We were like the outcasts. You know, we were like the kids that like get a life, get a job, you know, 
you know, more punk rock about it. Like our attitude wasn't like, like we didn't give a fuck. Like we were just like having fun. When they say like the American dream, like the pursuit of like happiness and all that, find an animal chin, that's just like having fun on your board, you know what I mean? Like let things come naturally. We You know, I got uh, two paintings in a skateboard art show out in L.A. right now uh -huh. with, with Steve Cavallero, mm -hmm. Christian Asoy, and um, I'm a part of that legendary family. <laughs> <laughs> I don't regret standing my ground. Easy rider. I guess you got to pick your battle, right? You got to stand for something. Down for bed rock, cause yo, I'll leave your head rock and I put you down like Hancock. And I don't need no luck, no sham rocks. I'm here to stop, or I'm here to rep. Cause yeah, I'm here in the LES with Teddy Bex, steady large, quim times making them credit cards. Set it, God for my man Renee. Cause what we come to do is play. New York City's my Playground, that's the place where I skate and I do my thing. Yo, Ali, this is real, man. You're watching Asphalt NYC.